On the 9th of October 1988, Gail Barris was a 30-year-old single mother of three children who worked at two different local bars. On this day, in the early morning hours of between 3 to 4 a.m., she was seen leaving Speed's Coffee Shop, located at 1425 West Michigan Avenue in Battle Creek, Michigan. She was seen leaving with a dark-haired man and was never seen alive again. On the 25th of October, hunters from a nearby township of Emmett made a horrifying discovery. They found the lifeless body of a woman laying alongside River Road had been viciously stabbed and violated. The authorities were contacted and arrived at the crime scene and identified the body to be that of Gail Barris. An extensive investigation followed, people were interviewed and evidence was collected. On the 22nd of October, just a few days prior to Gail's body being discovered and almost a fortnight after she went missing, a 24-year-old man named Roger Plato was approached by detectives. His car matched a description from a victim of a different abduction and assault case. They attempted to detain him at gunpoint while he was walking to his car at 4.30pm in a parking lot located at 215E Capitol Avenue in Bellevue. He became aggressive and refused to cooperate after he was questioned and started fighting back. As he attempted to wrestle the gun from the detective, he was shot and he passed away from his injuries. An autopsy was performed and a blood sample was taken from him before he was cremated, which was kept at a private lab at the time. The investigators then turned their attention to a friend and former roommate of Plato's called Richard Compton. He was a career criminal, and he denied knowing anything. Battle Creek cold case detective Scott Marshall reinvestigated the case in 2018. He discovered that Compton's DNA had never been tested, and he became the main suspect in the investigation. Through other agencies, however, he discovered that he was no longer alive and was buried in the County International Cemetery in Austin, Texas in 2009. He was 59 years of age when he passed away. Marshall obtained a search warrant and travelled to Texas to exhume Compton's body. It was discovered that Compton's DNA samples didn't match that to Barris's body, but matched previously unidentified hairs connected to the crime scene. Then a break in the case happened in November of 2020. Sergeant Chris Bassick of the Calhoun County Sheriff's Department was taking an inventory of evidence at the department and found a vial containing blood that was taken from Plato. It was announced on the 30th of January 2021 that a state police lab connected the blood to DNA found on Gail Barris, confirming Plato is responsible for assaulting and taking Barris's life, while Compton was a bystander. Marshall said DNA technology is the future for solving cold cases. The Barris family is relieved to have closure, he said, 